I say I'm lying. I you can't you. do that. I you. Who are you? Are you God? You can't see my heart. If a man comes up and he I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of no one but Allah. If I, I apologize to you, I'm not worried for you, bro. All I'm saying to you I'm not, why should I lie? All I'm saying why, to you is, why all I'm should saying I lie? Is, why should I lie? I said to you, you're a grown man. Yes. Yeah, and I'm a grown man. Exactly. If I had a problem with What's you, my benefit like if you? I had so, a problem, well, you lied to me because your thing is to spread, is to spread Islam and to show it in the best way no, possible. No, that, 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 that's partial truth. You know why? Because I admitted I was wrong. You're right. I'm just telling you. At least I'm not admitting. So that. now I am right. No, 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 no. Listen, I admitted I was wrong. I had a part to blame in the whole conflict that happened. I admitted that, yes. And you still go up and say, I'm not being sincere. I said, How you. more sincere can I get? I'm saying, yes, you're right, bro. Yes, right, you're right. right. Let me make you're one right. last point. I, 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 I was partially. Yeah, it is to circular. Blame. Let me just make yeah. one yeah. last point. Okay, okay. Now you said that. Now you said that. Yeah, yeah. Now you said that. Now you said that. Yeah. I, I appreciate that, and I appreciate. No, 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 no. I'm telling you how it came over. I'm telling you how it came over. Okay. Now you've said that. Now you've said that publicly. You understand? Now you've said. No, no, no. But I'm telling you how it came over. Yeah, how it came over. I did because because do you know you shut me Do you know what? Let me just say one more thing. Cause let me just get it off my chest. And I have to go back again. I really apologise. When you go back, there, yeah. when you go back, go back online, please, just for me. And after your apology, when I say I'm not going to accept it, look at my words and see where there were any accusatorial words. There were none. The only accusatorial words which did come, and I admit that they came, was after you made what I perceived was a threat. Yeah? And then I said, hold on a minute, then I said, anybody who threatens me, you put their hands on me, I will destroy them utterly. That's exactly what I said. So, so if you're now telling me that you didn't mean it, you understand? And now I'm standing next to you face to face, yeah, as grown men, then I'll accept what you said. Yeah, but, but for me, for me in future, if I have a problem, yeah, it doesn't mean that you've got to be the same, yeah. If I have a problem with somebody and I'm a grown man, do you know the first thing I'm going to do? As a grown man, I'm going to seek them out, find their number, yeah, and say to them, brother, I'm going to say, brother, we need to talk. You understand what I'm saying to you? Before this goes too far. But one of the things that I hate. Did you say the both emotional? I, I am completely emotional sometimes. Yeah? I'm emotional. Sometimes. I'm yeah? emotional. Sometimes. But let me tell you what you've never seen. You've never seen me go bananas in here. You understand? Anything that you have seen has been in reaction, in reaction to someone else. And do you know what's still not being resolved? Do you know what's still not being resolved? When you oppose the Sarah situation has still not being resolved. Because let me tell you what I let me tell you what I know, and I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna tell you what concerned me. I did put something up, I've taken everything down, and there's a reason I took everything down. I said that I know, I said that I know. As a statement of fact, about three weeks ago, I know as a statement of fact, yeah, which means there is no argument whatsoever, that there was a plan, yeah, to stab Sarah, yeah, but hold on a second, but you know this, yeah, I know you say you had nothing to do with it, yeah, hold on, no, 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 you, let me just please, so you understand what I'm saying, you don't, let me just finish, let me finish, because you don't understand what I'm saying, let me finish, listen, I said, I know you're going to say you have nothing to do with it, but that's not the point that I'm making. I'm saying that when an atmosphere yeah, is created, an atmosphere, even though you've directly got nothing to do with it, yeah, even when you've got nothing to do with it, I've, 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 received, I've received a telephone call from a Sunni Muslim brother telling me to tell Sarah yeah, not to come to the park. It's a brother who comes to the park. And he said, and I said, why is that? He said, because he has heard that they plan to stab him up when he leaves the park. That's why now, I want to finish with yes, Kennedy. But you know, honestly, I feel that you're not helping. I feel that you're not helping. Brother, the, brother, I'm totally helping. You could have, you could have made, honestly, because you could have, you could have made things easy for me. When I, first, come, when, when I made the apology to you, honestly, you, you could have squashed it by just... I'm not saying you had to accept it. The way you replied was a nice thing. No, it's, it's, 
see that I'm a liar, I'm a hypocrite, I'm this, I'm that. Honestly, I, 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 I wanted things to calm down. What's it done from there? I have, I have no reason to lie. I mean, I mean, I mean, let me address this. Go on, go on. I might as well. Go on, yes. This is the first time I'm speaking to you. Yeah, I don't know what you've got to do with it, but like, if you want to well, say you something. Well, you actually address well, me yeah, here and here and now. No, no, no. Can I just say to you, that's a bit unfair because what was said, what was said, was the thing regarding Sarah, and I said that I watched your video whereby you said you deliberately did what you did. Was that true or not? Let's address it. Was it true? Let's address it properly. Let's address it properly. I've been waiting under the sun like you to speak. Can I first say, yeah, everyone that's that. You yourself, you yourself, yeah. I can see you lot are not cowards. You lot know that, you lot are not cowards. Well, now, I respect Hamid, everybody. I don't oh, care, listen. they could be two now, foot tall. That's I cool, listen. Them. Now, Hamid, Hamid has looked you in your eye as well, and he said to you, you're not a coward. Yes? Now, you're looking at me in my eye, and you're looking at Hamid in our eye. We don't go around bullying people, even though people are saying that kind of stuff online. Yeah. And we're not cowards as well, you always say that so, or not. That's your, that's your goal, yeah? But, We've not come with any problem to talk to you. Now, can I just say that for me, when I'm saying this, he did. I know, but we addressed it. But we addressed it, innit? He spoke to you, he addressed it with you, he apologised, clarification, that's what Alright, let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Alright, look. What I see, when I see you not talking, and us standing here, it's like a bunch of lions fighting over a rabbit. And I'm sorry to actually, I'm not sorry to say Who is? Who is? Sarah. Yeah? Without me taking it personally, this isn't personal, it's context now. Why are you not just like this brother have, so much? Let me speak! You can't That's condemn me if I haven't spoken. Let me speak, let me speak. Yeah, please let me speak. Let me speak. If there's something wrong with what I'm saying, you can adjust it. That's, That's all right. What I'm saying is this. There's a man who has start riled up all of this together, yet it's everyone else around him talking about it. Where is he? Why is he? Why is he? Right. Fair enough. All right. okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. He, he doesn't want to. Maybe he doesn't want to come here because there's been death threats on his name. Yeah. No problem. Fine. We give him that. But like every time, bro. Every time he addresses something online about the Muslims. The last video he did that I saw personally was completely despicable. Now I've seen you. I see the way you speak. You speak with eloquence. You speak well. I speak to the brother over here. Okay. I see him every now and then away from the corner. It's never anything other than hi, hello, how are you? Bye. That's it. Right? Cool. True. But Sarah, the one who's actually started all of this, he needs everyone else to clean up his mess. Now I'll say this, look. To address the situation, in that's not true. Last thing to do with you, yeah, was to do with um, Saracen. No one ain't addressing Saracen. Talk, that's my problem. I'm talking about from way around. Oh, well, I'm talking about situation, which now the last thing that I've to get upset to get on saying to react to yeah. Sarah, yes? But Sarah is not the protagonist in that situation. We have to Alright, I'll tell you why Sarah is the protagonist. Sarah is the protagonist. If someone knows, if someone says Gary Gator, I don't think you deliberately targeted Sarah. Let me address it. 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 Sarah's calling no problem, yeah? And I've had everything you've had to say. I said that I'm on the side of truth. So the side yeah, of truth. And, and, and you I'm believe that Sarah's been the speech. one that's done injustice done to him, yes? Uh, no, I didn't say that. Do you believe that I've done injustice to Sarah? I said that your behaviour, yeah? yeah. Because yeah. Let, let me tell you, okay, let me tell you how my mind works, yeah? yeah? Perfect, Whilst I can accept, yeah, I can accept Hamid saying what he said to me, and he sought to clarify that, that's fine. Let me take the problem I have with myself, is that you actually clarified it on video yourself. What so I'm going you? by your words. You said that you deliberately yeah. Yeah, yeah. said what you said because you, you wanted said, a what, confrontation. What did I say? What should I say? I said. You said that you wanted a confrontation okay. yeah, with Sarah. Yes. You said you deliberately yes. did that. Yes. So yes. if I'm telling the truth, please tell me I'm saying what I'm saying is not true. No. You no, did say that. So why would you say that? Why would you do that? Now, thank you. Now let's address it. I was speaking, and I've said this ten times, but call to yourself, not home. I was speaking to a guy who's leaving. He's a very timid guy. And he's leaving, leaving to go back to Oxford. Oh, right? okay. yeah, 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 he's going back to Oxford. And he's given a last few words. Sarah comes up behind, yeah, Sarah comes up behind, and he goes, <laughs> you know, he's mocking him, this is that, and I can't stop. And I've turned to Sarah, and he's got the other guy with him, what's his name? That other Asian dude, what's his face? Yeah. Answer. So I've turned to answer first and I've said, bro, please, if you don't mind, I've spoken to you before, 
and it's been quizzed like, all right, cool, cool. As soon as I turn around, the second I turn around and cameras carry on going, they both start sniggering together. And then I said to Sarah, because this, now my man's not listening. All right, I said to Sarah, I said, Sarah, listen, this is the, and this is my words, yeah, and I quote, this is the first time I'm addressing you personally, and it's on these kind of terms. Please, do you mind if I continue without any of this ad ball in the background? And he goes, oh, do your thing, do your thing. I was like, thank you. I turn around, as soon as I did that, he starts sniggering again. I turned to him, I said, listen, you're a big man, stop. You're a big man, know yourself, innit? Like, this is the first time, and you're trying to aggro a situation up in it. You're trying to aggro me, innit? So I turn around, I start talking, and he carries on. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the background, yeah, I, I said, listen, you're making me feel like I'm gonna lash out. This is what I said, something along these lines. I did say this. And I'm saying it again on the camera. Yes, I said this. How I will lash out? You cannot take it to say, I meant physically, or you cannot take it to say, I went. Sorry. Carry on, That's kind of rude. No, no, it's not. Carry on, I'm listening to you. Kind of rude. Sorry, I'll wait. Sorry. That's very rude. Let's hold on one minute. You say you appreciate it's the manners. It's a different culture, don't worry. It's a different culture. I'm listening to you. It always goes back to the culture thing. We're two men talking. Okay, go on. That's rude. Yeah, that's rude. rude. Yeah. No, I'm not your son. What do you mean it's rude? I mean, that's your opinion. No. I just said to you that there's something opinion. urgent. Yeah, so carry on. At least say sorry, Mohammed. Give me a second. Well, no problem. No problem. We're here to clarify things, right? We're here to clarify things. So, that's how that sort of thing started. And then, as he said, radio silence, radio silence. The next time I come to the park, I didn't see, I seen him, he's seen me. This is Sarah's words, not mine. It means that we didn't speak. This is Sarah's words. So, for a couple of months, we didn't talk. Yeah? And then all of a sudden, a video goes up on Titans TV. Sarah, uh, Callum is addressing me first. He's saying, oh yeah, there was a Muhammad from Guidance Avenue had to stop something from one of his brothers and it was a racial smell or something like this. And Muhammad from Guidance Avenue had to get involved to break it up. First thing. All right, cool. All right, Callum, fair enough. He said, oh, Muhammad was a peacemaker. No problem. However, it was on his channel. And then Sarah said, oh, actually, about that Muhammad from Guidance Avenue, um, be careful with him, he was frothing from the mouth, he's a savage, and he's a, he's a loose cannon or this is that. Who was you talking about? About me. Now, for the past two months actually before this, you know after that incident happened over there, I just mentioned to you, every single one of my videos, I had to block Sarah, because every single one of my videos, he copied and pasted, be careful with Mohammed from Gadi Sami, he's a loose cannon, he's a savage, and he's, got, he's frothing from the mouth. He's insincere, he's disingenuous, and I just blocked him. I didn't reply to nothing, I just blocked him. When I'd seen him in the park, that two months ago, well, I never said nothing, never addressed nothing. And then he went and did this video, so I went, I went up to Kevin. And I said to Kevin this, I said, listen, uh, firstly, why did you put this video up? What's your, what's your stance in a part? He said, I am general, I oppose the general stance. I said, it's sorry, your boy, trust me. No problem. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, take me up to the same gate, yeah? Yeah. When, 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 when you've done that? Yeah, when you've done that, yeah? Just call me first, please, yeah? Oh. Sorry. So, I said to Kellen, what is your stance in this situation? Because you put me on air, and I heard what you said, but I don't know if you had some kind of plan going on with Sarah. He said, Mohammed, I pose a neutral stance. I said, cool. I said, is Sarah your boy? He said, no, Sarah is not my boy. I said, is Sarah your buddy? He says, no, Sarah is not my brother. I said, cool. He said, Sarah is just This is Kellen. Okay. Yeah, this is Kellen. So I said, cool. From then on, me and Kellen didn't talk until that incident. What happened the next week? Is when he, oh, alright, how I aggravated the matter, because I wanted Sarah to come up to me, I said to him, listen, tell your boy I want to chat to him. Who said that? You said I that? I said that, I said, tell your boy I want to chat to him. He said, what, I said, tell him, he's a, he's a batty boy, tell him that I want to chat to him. Tell him to come with my MCL, I want to chat to him. Yes, I said this. I said this. Because I was very upset. But nevertheless, putting emotions aside, I wanted him to confront me, because I wanted to speak to him. Like, why, why, why are you bringing stuff up when, like, things have been dead here? You've spoken online about me. Now, then when he come over there, you see now he come up to me. The first thing I said to him when he come up to me, I said, listen, not on your cameras, turn off your cameras. He doesn't want to do that. As you said, as you said, and very rightfully so, and I agree with you, we are Muslim, we come to the park, we have to give that away in a correct manner. And if there are, um, if there are discrepancies in the way that we behave, we shouldn't ascribe and attribute it to Islam. 
because it's very not Islamic teachings. It's the it's the misrepresentation. Like I said, you realise that's cognitive dissonance, don't you? Yeah. On one hand, on one hand, you just said that in the beginning, yeah, you wanted to do X, Y, Z. Wrong. On, on the other wrong. hand, wrong. you've then just wrong. said wrong. you've then just wrong. said that. Hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah. You're missing a point. No, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you about cognitive wrong. dissonance because you're now saying what you're going to say is is that your actions shouldn't reflect in any way on Islam. However, you're here as a Muslim speaking about Islam, so so ergo, ergo, it points out that your behaviour. Point taken, 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 he said, tell that to him, I don't want to chat to him. Point now, point just point now, point you point said point to me that certain language is, 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 is not right. Because what it does, this is what you just said, you said that it doesn't dis de-escalate a problem. So when you're going to go up to another grown man and you're going to say, tell that Batman to come here, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think he's going to like you? Pardon? Yeah, 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 definitely. Both. Both. Especially, especially if he's not a Batman. That's exactly right. How about, 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 I'm, well, I'm me on the comment section. Right there. I'm invincible on the comment section. I don't comment. Bro. Thank you, thank you. Comment, like, and subscribe. I keep it soft and sweet. That's it. I don't go into no politics in the comment section. So for him to do that, I thought was very like, don't, don't fall for lying. Like, I'm behind the kids. Don't fall for you. Expecting me to bite and then say, oh, look at the lies. Why are you doing it? So anyway, so you didn't address that. Though. But anyway, so he come to me. I didn't address what point? The poking. No, yeah. The fact that he's come up to me when I'm with this guy here and he's, he's sniggering in the background. The fact that he's got all of these comments on line number two. The fact that on Titans TV on a live two and a half hour video he starts bad mouthing me. Like, why are you doing that? Why are you in the beginning, because you said I didn't condemn it. Yes. You understand? When I spoke to Hamid earlier on and I spoke about certain language and I said that certain language will, will cause me, yeah, and others or amongst us for a private conversation with somebody. But let me just say this to you, that's regarding what might be considered inflammatory language, you understand, in our religion, that's completely different to what you're speaking about. Absolutely. Because when I watch content over everything, there's a guy called, um, there's a guy called, um, Sugar. There's a guy called um, Uncle Jamal. Yeah, for me, Uncle Jamal, the funniest guy in the park, because what he does, yeah, he knows how to troll he people. Yeah, he knows how to troll people. He knows how to heckle, but he does it. Yeah, with a, with, with, with a great spirit in him. Yeah, and he does it with charm. What you're saying is, is that you didn't like somebody stand in the first instance. You didn't like somebody standing and sniggering. Yeah, when you were talking. This is how this is how children behave. You understand? Because you had, yeah, you had the choice to ignore him. Yeah, and you could have said, you know what? He's an idiot. You understand what I'm saying to you? And carry on about your business. But what you did, what you did, you. You fell for the trolling. Do you understand? You well, fell you know for what, it. Point point Let me contextualize it. It was raining and everyone was around this bit here. We moved over there. We moved over there. A few cameras followed. We moved over there. That's okay. what it happened. He followed us and the only time he began to speak was when the cameras were rolling and I was talking. He didn't like it. Now, little did I know, it was around this point that his uncle MashaAllah took his shahada. I didn't even know about this until that week that the, the agro happened over there because I spoke to his uncle myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I, I had no idea. Maybe he was a bit angry and he had some kind of passive aggression in him because of that situation and I was oblivious to it. But nonetheless, has anyone here, you know, I'll ask you yourself, have you yourself seen me in a situation? Well, let me tell you what I have seen, yeah, since you asked me the question. I've seen you, I've seen you mock people, yeah, when they're, when they're speaking. No, no, I'm just telling you, you've asked me the question, yeah? Yeah? 
I yeah. like it. Yeah. I've seen you. I've seen you look at the you point. Me as well. You're just over here. Yeah, you yeah, might, you yeah, might yeah, see you all the time. You ask me. I've seen you. I've seen you on three or four occasions. You understand? Mocking people. But let me tell you what I call that. Yeah? I call that heckling. Yeah? Which, which people are fully entitled to do. Now, when, 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 and see if I can now have Hamid as a witness. When I was speaking over there with Hamid, yeah? When, when, I, when I was speaking with Hamza, Hamid came over with another guy, you understand? And they were yup, yup, yapping in the background and they were talking in the background. Ask him if at any time I turned around and faced him. Because you know what? I didn't. And within about five minutes, they gave up and they went. Because what they were doing, they were heckling and they were mocking. What people do when they head and mock and, and mock you is they try to get a reaction out of you. After a while, even the funniest guy in the world who is heckling and mocking, if nobody responds to them, do you know what they've got to do? They've got to give up and go and heckle and mock someone else. So you're saying that, if I get this right, that you were thrown off balance here by Sarah heckling and mocking you, the exact same thing that I've seen you do on three or four occasions here at the park. Okay. Can I, can I, can I just say something? No. But, but don't, don't invite no, 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 it's okay. MP no, 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 I'm going to say that I agree with what you've said so far. Okay. But the problem is, is that where do you draw the line? For example, I, I, I personally believe that we should have mocked each other. Even though we hate him. Like you said, Jamal, he doesn't look very He's got a class. He doesn't look funny, yeah? But what about, for example, when mm -hmm. people are accused of being bad and bad, or terrorist, or you know, savage, backwards, is this acceptable or should we just walk away from that as well? Let me, let me just say to you, and, yeah. I'll, and, I'll yeah. and I'll answer that, and I'll answer that, and I'll answer that truthfully. Earlier on, you said, yeah, that you said to me that you are emotional and I seem emotional too. And I said to you, yes, you're right. You understand? And I also said, as a man, you understand, as a man, some men, not men, are so they're very vengeful. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 that's exactly right. And we're very vengeful as well. And when you become vengeful, don't get me wrong, we all want to be erudite and we all want to be, we all want to come over in the best way in which we can. But when you feel that you are, when you feel that you are being attacked, yeah, you will draw for the weapons that you feel you can use to harm, yeah, to harm the people who are attacking you in a way that you believe is unjust. You understand what I'm saying to you? So, on that basis, I believe that your behavior, yeah, your behavior to me was unjust. Yeah, that's what I believe. And I thought to myself, well, I'm coming to this park because if this man's going to say he's going to come up in my face, I'm not waiting for him. You understand? I'm going to go up in this face and hear what he's saying. But if your argument is, is that do I believe terms like Patsy Man and, and terrorists and blah 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 are these good terms? Well, I'm not a hypocrite. I say it from the camera. Of course they're not good terms. And in a normal situation, would those terms be used? No. Are they wounding terms? Yes. Yeah. Do you normally want to wound people? Do you know you do you know you're ten seconds? Do, should you really want to wound people in that way? No. So now I've made that clear. So they both do you then agree with me? The same way I accept how was I thought the way I approach you for calling you Uncle Tom or the way I thought Sarah. Do you then agree that your reaction, your reply didn't help me for calling me a terrible savage that was backward? Do you, do you agree with me? I, I, I agree I agree to the extent, yeah, to the extent that if you just look at that, yeah, as a singular time, yeah, then I would agree with you. But if you look at it from the context that there was what I perceive, yeah, to be a threat to me physically, and then when somebody stays on video and says, and just to let you know, you've got nothing to fear from me, I'm going, what? 
I've got to come down to the park. You understand? Because the man saying this has got to say it to my face. You understand? It, it was said, hold on one second. It was said, it was said within that context. If you're saying to me now, with the situation completely calm, you understand? And there is a discussion going on here. Was that the wisest choice of language? Then I can, I can, I can look in your eyes and say probably no, it wasn't. No, you know what it is, man. I've, just, that, I've admitted it. This whole thing is honestly such a trivial thing. It's been blown out of the That's gone. Let me, let me. The whole see. thing is a little bit wrong. The fact that the fact that you kill someone isn't. That's a big matter look, to me. The, thing that, the, the things we said in the comment section. We are, I had a we went, we went back and forth with you, okay? I had a very and difficult thing. Look, things are said behind keyboards, and it's mainly mind games. Just do mind games. Just go ahead. Yeah? If I make friends... Until it gets to physical and, friends. No, but obviously, look, bro, the thing is this. Look, I, I use my, my comment. I honestly, the things that I said to you were, I'm going to be in your face. I swear about the life. I did not mean physically I'm going to do something. I meant that it will be physical, it will be heated, but never intended that I'm going to harm you in any way. Like that. Honestly, I swear about Allah. If I'm lying, Allah curse me. Yeah, I wouldn't lie if I, if I, if I say that. You understand? Obviously, I understand. If, if I was you, maybe that's how I would tell you. You're not an idiot. You you, you're not an idiot. You understand the English language. Yes. And you understand. It's my game. You understand. I'll be honest. It's just my game. Look, you used to be a fighter. I used to be a fighter. Before a fight, what do you do with your opponent? You play with his psychology. You're trying to wind him up. Yeah. Said, my that's all I was doing. My no, psychology was fine. No, I anyway, know. No, let's I'm just saying, move on. Because I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying, look, things are said behind wanted to say something yeah, sorry go on, go on. Yeah. finish your point yeah. and after. I was going to say look that things are said things were said back and forth in the conversation which really the whole thing is just trivial matter that's the reason why I said you know what I will say to nobody's you again, not getting any ounce that's fine. That's any fine, ounce of air out of me that's fine you understand but, because I'm a big man I don't play them games fair enough but now the question is the question is next to us how do we go from there what do we do now I mean, do you still perceive me to be someone who's insincere someone was a hypocrite, do you still think that I was insincere, my apology, I mean, where do you go from me? Do we just carry on the good word or, because I'm more than happy to say to you again, I apologize to you for making me press to you, for making for you and for I'm more than happy to squash well, you. Did I accept that? I accept that. Take the message and see. Yeah, I'll take that. Alhamdulillah. Okay, I'll take that. That's not a problem. I'll take that. 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 So going back to that point, so after all of that aggravation, I've gone over there man with his, with his outfit on. Bro, do you know how I see it? I see it like this, man. Say, for example, we are bricks. And we are building houses on bricks. Sarah built a house on bricks. I'm sorry, the way I like in my life is don't target someone weaker than you. Yeah? But never ever trust anyone except a man. You think it's possible to always speak to Sarah as well? Can we talk to Sarah in person? You see, you see, you see, let me just say this to you. Let me say, I'm not, I'm not Sarah's spokesman, but I'm Sarah's brother. And once, do you once, think you will accept to speak to us in person? Once I will say, but do you know the thing is, genuinely speaking, if I was Sarah, I wouldn't talk to you. Yeah, and yeah, 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 I think that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, that's the reason, the reason why we're talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you go on Titan TV? Is it squash when it's every day? Do you know what I mean? Squash, talking about about me. And I'm just standing there taking. If we squash with Sarah, he will calm down. If he, if he feels, if he feels safe when he comes down, can I just say to you? You know, you won't say some of the things that he does. You know, you know, you know the thing is, you know the thing is. Yes, and like, this is where, and every Muslim that I've spoke to at the park, no matter how reasonable, I always find myself having to say this, and do you know what that is? Once I understand what you say, your view is subjective. Yeah, meaning, when you say you want him to calm down, you don't want him to say what you don't like. No, 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 no. You understand what I'm saying to you? Because that's what it means. No, no, no. Let me address this. Let me address this. Does anybody else understand the point? Do you not say... See, there's more than intimidation. Are you using different words, yes or no? 
Do we have any problems with you? You say the same thing. This is my way. This is wisdom. Have to speak this way. Wisdom. That's what it is. From you sir, should apply sir, wisdom. Sir, the sir, same way sir. you apply wisdom. Sir, let me, let me, let me apply wisdom. And I've also pointed yeah? out to you. I've also pointed out to you that Sarah is ah, a grown man. Yeah, it's a grown man. Should, should, should I tell you one of the things that really concerned me? Look, to be honest with you, you know the same way in which you say that there are mind games. There are certain things which are put out. I said to you, I said to you, this is the reason why I would say, I would say to Sarah, not to me, yeah, because there is a lack of trust and a lack of gen genuine people around. And I'll tell you what I mean. I pointed out to you that a Sunni Muslim brother yeah, down here called me on my phone. And you know what you know what was funny as well? About three, four weeks ago, I said, isn't it funny? Because there was a discourse over there. And I said, I want somebody to support what I'm saying. Now there's five or six of these Sunni brothers here who have my telephone number. And when I turned around to say like, you know, I want one of you to support me. It was a case of, and, and they all turned my back. And that, let me tell you, that, more than anything, taught me a massive lesson. Because what they will do, they will have conversations with me outside of this park. They will call me outside of this park. But when I asked them, when I, when, I was speaking, when I was speaking truthfully, and I said, I want one of you brothers to support me. Five or six of them have my number. Not one of them supported me. Maybe they didn't want their identity. Exactly. What, what, you can call should it whatever. You, should, you not, should you not take half that glass of water and appreciate what, what they what, gave what, you in the first place? That, that's another way of looking at it. Yeah, so I'm not going to ruin that. That's because, a, because of that, you didn't come to the park. And no, I've, I've accepted what you just said, yeah? I accept that point. But let me tell you what concerned me more than anything else. I posted up when I heard from that brother, yeah? This is no word of a lie, you understand? I called someone who's in the park today, yeah? And if there is a God, I will swear on him. And let me tell you this, I said, you hear that these guys then were planning to stab Sarah, not in this part here, they were going to stab him when he was getting out of the gate. Now, he had also heard this from somebody else, who I heard from 100%. I said, now you imagine this, now you imagine this, when I put that up, I didn't hear you, yeah, with the greatest respect, I didn't hear you or anybody else condemn that. Because, yeah. I, didn't, because I didn't hear it from you, I heard it from someone else. I honestly can't, can't remember oh, seeing Oh, so that means then, that means then that I'm not making it up. No, 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 I know, I've heard it before. Wow. But before, well, that's, that's, why even want, worse. that's why I wanted to squash right. you. Right, now, listen, listen why, to me why, now. Uh, like, but bro, why do you think I wanted to squash you? Can I just say to you, I don't dispute that. I didn't that. want him to be I don't hurt. dispute that, but until you told me that just yeah. now, I wasn't even aware that you knew. I knew. I yeah? Knew. Yes, I'm I just knew. telling you. Until 20 seconds I never ago. Heard you. I, I didn't know that you know. Well, well, hold on a second. I, I didn't am know telling you. Know. you. I am no, telling you. I didn't know that you know. Oh, sir. Until you just said no, it. No, no, imagine that. Yeah. He didn't know that I know. Yeah. yeah I heard from his Sunni Muslim brother. Yes. You understand? Who phoned me and told me to make sure Sa don't come down well, because they're going to. All the Muslims in the park are synchronicity. No, no, I accept that. Yeah, that, that, that goes without saying. But that's not the point that I'm making. But the point is, even though they're not in synchronicity, Sarah heard that, he heard that, I heard that, he wasn't aware that I knew that he knew, and he wasn't aware that I knew. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? But it was clear that that was going around, that they are going to stab somebody whose view they don't like. It was that point where I said, well, what is the difference then? Because for me, it's a free speech, it's a free speech issue, because Sarah is easily dealt with. Yeah, if you're a Muslim, yeah, if I was a Muslim woman, if I was a Muslim woman, somebody like Sarah is easily dealt with. Do you know how it is? Sarah is speaking over there, us Muslims we will speak over here. That's the end of it. But it goes beyond that. Because if we're now talking about because when you stab someone, when you stab someone, unless you are a surgeon, you don't know where you stab them. I know someone who got stabbed in the fight and lost his life. And, and there is no 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 the point that I'm making is that's why the point that I'm making is is that you can't tell me the person who stabbed someone in the fight deliberately killed them. Do you understand? It wasn't. It was a punishment yes, thing and so on and so forth. So you can lose your life. Yes. And so I pointed out online that they had threatened 
to kill this man and I heard nothing until today. You didn't mention it on the uh, you didn't mention it online, you've just mentioned it today. I, I, I didn't even know that you knew about it. I I because because, because because I heard it look the thing look the thing is this because I did not mention it in the video because it's for me it's unconfirmed. It's unconfirmed. And I cannot put something out which is unconfirmed. At least I know for hundred percent that's gonna go down. I would say clearly, I would even call the police. Listen, the police guy don't come out. Yeah. 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 Can, okay. Can I just say to you? Can I just say to you? Can I just say to you? I'm not trying to be funny. I already know who's going to do the stabbing. You know? Look, of course I don't. Yeah. Until we know for 100% and it's confirmed, I won't be able to say anything. Okay, well, you go. use the same words. Yeah. Well, the well, 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 that's the thing, people. Look, well, you obviously, because you suspect something, you're your brother, of course you have to protect yourself. But you have to believe no, 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 when no, I say no, 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 that's unfair, honey. Because I pointed out to you earlier on, it's a free speech issue. I said that if a Muslim, if a Jew, if an atheist, I know, I know, you understand, I wanted to make a point at the park. All I'm saying is hold it down. Yeah, you but hold a second, honey. Say, stop saying what you're I've just said to you, down. I've just said you're, to you because... Be like Gary, use your yeah. words You're making the... Be like you, be like you, use... People are quite wisdom. Look, can I just say to you, can I just say to you, do you know what? Do you know what? Gary speaks differently to me. Gary has a sense of human that I could only wish I could have. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Because it's different. He disarms you in a completely different way than me. It's because we're different types of speakers. And I'm saying, and, and Sarah's different too. And if what you're saying is, because this is dangerous, I can agree with everything that you and Ty says. Everything, and, unless, unless there's one thing, the one thing, Hamid, and the one thing is, is that you want to decide how somebody reacts to what you believe. I'll tell you what it is. Look, we have, After this, let me lost it. We have to understand people are watching us. Yeah. We have two camps. We have no hotter you from our side, Muslims. Some guys yeah, what, sorry? hot headed you from our side. I think the hot headed you are guided by you lot. The older lot. That's, that's, again, the again, older again, lot. Again, not you, not you personally, the older lot. That's, the that's what I believe. I mean I get people like What I'm saying is yeah. what I'm saying is that you are when people are watching, they perceive it to be did you, did you send me a message? Did you send me a message saying to me, saying to me, big bro, guess what? No, I'm just saying to you, yeah? Because you said lots of stuff, yeah, just like I did. But did you send a message to me, saying to me, saying to me, um, big bro, tell Sarah to be careful at the park because I've heard he's going to be stabbed. I would have if I had the number, but I can't put that online. I can't, you have to understand. I can't. Yeah, but can you tell Kenneth? It's, it's, it's unconfirmed. Can you tell anybody? You've got Kenneth's number. I can't. Did you tell anybody? Yes, I did, yeah. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. But because you got caught up in this whole hype on comment section. Did you tell Did you tell Callum that? No, I didn't tell him. So it's not confirmed. So, so you didn't it's tell anybody? Yeah, but even if it's I'm unconfirmed. I'm just saying to you, everything yeah, is confirmed. unconfirmed no, until no, it's no, confirmed. I understand. No, I mean, what you want to say is that? Look, look. The thing is this, the thing is this. It's hypocrisy, it really no, no, is. Look, it is, bro, it is no you're not being fair, you're not being fair. Sir, look, can look, I just say look, this? If I heard, look, let me tell you this, you see as much as I've argued with you, yeah, if I heard, yeah, that somebody was going to stab you up, you understand, may, may God be my witness, you understand, I would have sent somebody down to your mosque, I would have gone around and I would have made sure that you knew about it. You understand? If, if you because heard, you know what? There's a difference between you. there's a difference he between not liking somebody, talking at Hyde Park, and then somebody dying, and then somebody dying. So I would have told you. Sarah has not come down to the park for a couple of weeks. Right? He has not. He's not he's come down. Holiday. Holiday. Okay, he hasn't been there for a couple of weeks. Because he's on holiday. So, so meanwhile, meanwhile, what my intention was. Is <laughs> That's it. And then when he came down here, I was like, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. My plan was, look, he feels the situation, let the people see that things have calmed down. You understand? That I was hoping would calm whoever intends to harm Sarah, calm him down as well. No, can I just say to you, that's not true. Let me tell you why it wouldn't calm him down. Because Tahir said about 15 minutes ago that that with the stuff that um, Sarah said, he said that Sarah posted something up online on Sarah 4 and he said it was completely out of order, yeah, and it was a slow on the profit. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. So we know then that the threats are not going to go away. My only argument to you is, and I'll point it out again, you heard that he was going to get stabbed, I did, 
other people did as well. Because you know sometimes that type of news really really troubles. So then you say to yourself, how then is this going to be dealt with? Is this going to be dealt with by everybody going to jail? And some people being killed? I'm just asking you. Because because people have an opinion that you don't like? You understand? Sarah has a right to his opinion. Just like you have a right to dissect his opinion. What you don't have a right to do is to say, if you say this, I'm going to do that. Because then that, 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 that goes over from, from speaker's corner into gangsterism. That's how it came across. I, I the first person that brought the gangsterism to this whole situation. That was you. Look, that was how it came across. I agree. It, it, it came across that way. It's not a gangster. But the main, the main issue, my, my main objective was to defeat the situation. So because I perceive I perceived you to be unwilling to do that, and to be honest, the way you replied back before didn't help you. It didn't help you. Because I didn't accept your apology. It made it worse. It made it worse. But it has, it has no, happened. No. Yeah, but now it's been done just anyway. I'm glad. I'm not here to justify myself. I'm not here to justify myself. You have a problem in the way. But I know that. Yeah, but you know what we were talking about though, because we said we are finished in that, yeah, and, and we had finished. Actually, you, you just mentioned the Sarah thing, and all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, is that you guys say you want to talk to Sarah. Now, let me tell you why I'm concerned. Because I'm not, I'm not really too fussy about it. I'm just saying that if he was, I actually said this to Leon behind the camera. I said to Leon behind the camera, I said about a month ago, I'll tell you what happened. About a month ago, I did an interview with Leon or whenever it was, whatever. So I got all of that off my chest. The reason why I did this video, originally, I did do this video with Mohamed Hijab about the uh, three options and whatnot. I went off to give a conference abroad. Mohamed Hijab and Sarah bumped heads in a box and he spoke about it. Yeah, I spoke to Mohamed Hijab, he said, bro, listen, there's no point of me putting out the video of me and you now because I've already spoken. Do your own thing, I said, cool, I'll do my own thing. So I went and did my own thing. When that video went out now, bro, yeah, I left it, I was waiting for Sarah's reply. He goes to me, he put a message down in the in the COE video of that video and he says, oh, Mohammed, he, 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 he needs to be wearing a, he should be in a pillow house or something because he seems like he's a, um, not schizophrenic, uh, paranoid bipolar. Even though I've seen a video of him actually saying that he needs his bipolar. Nonetheless, putting that all aside, I left it after that, bro, yeah. I left it completely. I even came to Sarah before I put up that video. I came to him here. Gary was there. Gary was there. Gary got put some chicken. I'm saying it's true or not, yeah? And I came to him in a non threatening way to begin with. And I said to him, Sarah, please, do you mind if you only just walk over, over there and just talk uh, alone? So just as when I went to Callum, originally people were coming to Bill. I said, no, 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 please, please, please. Yeah? Uh, Raspet can confirm that. So, Raspet can confirm that. Gary was there and I said, please, can I have to chill on why? I wanted to say to Sarah, Sarah, please, can you stop these videos in your car? You slagging me off all the time saying, I'm a coward. I back down. So, he didn't do that. So, that's when some people started pulling me off. I was pushing them away from me. It looked as if I was in that kind of holding back situation. I'm not that guy, bro. Robert, Go on. Yes, go on. Now, tell me to go to your life. You, now, this is Ramadan, yes? Yes. You said that you would break your fast right now to go Ten of Did you say that? No, take the context. Gary, no, I know. Gary, but, but you say Gary if you know, if you know Gary, you just calm you down. If you it? know Gary, address the context of everything I before. I know. Why did I, I say? There. No, no, no. Why did I say? Why did I go to this point? Okay, why? Okay. Why is that not addressed? Ooh, why is it always spotlight when you see me break a sweat? Okay. Cool. Why is there no spotlight on on what aggravated okay. me? Yes, I was okay. aggravated. Okay. Listen, listen. No, I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to the camera. Listen, me and you, we've never had a confrontation. Me and you, never had a. AR23, Michael, me and him had a conversation and we shook it off. We had it out. We spoke like men. We had Ebony and Ivory playing in the background. It was all banter, it was all fun and games and laughter. Yeah? I'm not the kind of guy that goes around saying that I'm some anything, bro. With Sarah, no, no problem, brother, no problem. With Sarah, he aggravated the situation. He did. Allah, he did. He aggravated it. When he came up to me, when I said to him, come and talk to me alone. He came with a camera on, with, with, with COE's camera on, this is before I knew Leon and his team, yeah? With COE camera on, no, no, hooded no, 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 up, no. with gloves on, he coming up to me. Mike, he's bad. Listen, he can do that again if he wants. Like, I don't, I don't fit, just like Hamid said, I'm gonna say the same thing. I fear no man but Allah, I'll say to the cameras again, this is wallahi, wallahi, 
this is not for to make myself look bad. I believe that Sarah is a blatant coward, and what I'm saying to you is this: bear man like you, bear man like you, bear man like you, bear man like you. Bear man like, bear man like, let me finish, please, bro. Yeah, please. Thank you so much. Bear man like you, Michael here. When I see you, lot, I look at you in your face. You're not cowards, and a man can tell a man unless you can stand there and tell me, no, you're a coward. I say, all right, cool. If you think I'm a coward, you think I'm a coward. Yeah, but Sarah is a coward. And we are all fighting. It's like, it's like, you know what it's like? It reminds me of. It reminds me of old school tribes in Arabia or in Africa or anywhere in the world that fight over women and respecting their honor. If he's a big man, the way people keep saying he's a big man, then why doesn't he come? Look, bro, I'm telling you now. Wallahi, if Sarah comes, I will talk to him gently with respect and honor like a man. Wallahi, he doesn't want that. He doesn't want it, bro. You know, you when you come, when you talk, Wallahi, I see sometimes. You talk with uh, with a passion and with some sincerity in what you're saying. He doesn't do that, bro. He comes, he puts a video on when he knows, when he knows that I will address him. He wants to fight me. He wants to come and say I will fight him in a car park. You're saying that just like what you said, just like what you said, yeah, that you're not going to get any incriminating evidence of you to go and do some law uh, uh, against the law in a car park. I went up to him after that and I said, listen. Leave your cameras aside. Let's talk to like man, innit? And he doesn't want that, bro. He puts a video up and says, Mo's a coward. If I'm a coward, where are you? Like, why are you standing? I'm telling you, the guy that you are defending, you are a man. You are a man. He's a man. We're all men. I'm a man. We are all men. Sarah's not a man. Can I just say to you? Let me just say to you. First and foremost, first and foremost, first and foremost, first and foremost, yeah, first and foremost I defend. Yeah, I defend your right to have any opinion that you want of Sarah. And that's and, and, and that's fine because that's your subjective opinion of Sarah. However, let me just say this. There are different types of war and there are different types of cowardice. The, the person that you describe Sarah as, I don't see that person because now this is my opinion, even though it's subjective. Let me tell you what I see. I see a clever man, a man who is married. A man who has two children, a man who has responsibilities, a man whose responsibilities include paying his bills, putting food on the table and ensuring that his children, his children have a father to come home to at night. A little bit of what you're speaking about, with the greatest respect, sounds a little bit like when we was at school. Somebody said this, so let's meet round the back of the bike park so we can have a fist up. That works when you're 16, 17, 18. Hey, hear me a second, Amit. When you're 36, when you're 30, when you're 35, 36, and you're trying, you're trying to enable a 36 year old married man with two children to come out to put his best interest to one side to fulfill what you believe is your perception of a man you understand i believe that's where you're mistaken i don't believe i don't believe that sarah is a coward at all in fact i know as a statement of fact that he is not a coward this is where the danger now this is where the danger lies yeah and hear me out a second because you perceive him to be a coward, and one or two other people may well perceive him to be a coward. Let's just say, for example, that he is not a coward, and you're not a coward, and then a clash comes. What's going to happen? Let me tell you what's going to happen. One person, one person probably lives injured, the other person probably dies for his injury, the person who lives goes to prison, probably is going to have to do a minimum of 25, you understand, whilst he's in jail. He loses any ability to be free, again in this life, to be a father if you're not married yet, to have the ability to be married, to have the ability to have children. So when we, we have to be very careful when we have all of this YouTube stuff, this is the reason why I scrub my stuff, because I saw I saw where this was going to go, and not just from me. What I saw was that there were other people who loved me who would have taken separate action, which I would never have supported under no circumstances. In fact, there was one guy when we was over with Hamza, and he came and there was three or four of them, and he said, it's okay, bro, it's okay, big bro, we're with you, when it kicks. And I went to them, if you watch me on the camera, I said, no, 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 no. We deal with this intellectually, yeah, because the fighting thing is too easy. So when you're going to be, you can't, there's a cognitive dissonance with you, Mohammed. I'm telling you the truth, because you can't on one hand be saying that, you know what, I'm prepared to have a discussion with Sarah, and 
And yet in the next breath, well, I'm telling you, and I'm going to look at the camera, and, and he's a coward, and he's blah, blah, blah. Brother, brother, that's the reason why not only would he not have a conversation with you, I would advise him, yeah, I would advise him not to have a conversation because there is too much, there is too much emotionalism in this, and then it's going to kick off. Nobody wants it. Nobody who is intelligent, I agree with nobody who is intelligent your, wants it to kick I off. I agree with something you said. Look, I believe very, very clearly. Look, of course, look, what I, what I give off from YouTube, of course I've got a personal life as well, and I choose, I am the boss of what I give off in, on YouTube, and what I give off off YouTube, yeah? Now, there is part of my personal life that many people don't know here, but that's fine. What I will say is this, a man who looks after his children, and his family, his wife, and women in his family, is a man. He is a man. No one says no. If Sarah, is, if Sarah does that, he's a man. You're well, a man you know that, that he does that. And I salute you. What you I will know say that he does that. I promise you. One thing, you know on this point. You don't know who the person is. Wallahi. You don't know. Wallahi. You don't know. Wallahi. You don't know. Hey. Hey. You do know. We don't know anything about him. You have a hearty gun. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's been a good person on him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah expose me if I was the propagator or I had anything to do with the propagation or any knowledge on the phone calls or the threats or the emails or the anything to do with the Sarah situation. However, he was audacious enough online to say it was Muhammad from Guidance Avenue that had, and do you know what's so funny about it? Wallahi, do you know the first time I heard about it was when it was said, was when it was when the accusation came my way. Not even when it happened, not when the crime happened, when the accusation was pointing at me. Bro, listen, as I just said, I'm going to come out and say it again. Sarah, if you look after your family, you look after your, if you do have a wife and you look after your wife and you do have children and you look after them, you're a man. Then, for that, he's a man. The reason why I said, the reason why I said, the reason, the reason, the reason, the reason okay, do you watch the, the reason why I said the guy is a coward is this. Which is a precursor. No problem. It's, it's all right, all right. He's a known person. Because I don't know his yeah. person is. But no, you know his uncle. You know the situation. I, I will never ask a man's business to another man. No, but from another man. No, no problem. No problem. I'll take your word for it. One thing I will say is this, look, the reason why I say he's a coward, and I'll still stand to say he's a coward, he's a man That's with his family. Opinion. The reason for that, bro, the reason that I say this is because the guy came with the hair ready to fight. Don't come with the camera and turn it off and give me one of my face and I'll give you my picture. Fight me like a man. Without the cameras, without the YouTube. If not, sorry. So, you're the one that made the threat, though, Tahir. You're the one that made the threat. You the one that made the threat. I never made the physical threat. I never made the physical threat. You can say that. You said 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 that. You deliberately pulled him out. Yeah, you deliberately pulled the reaction. Sir, sir, all I'm saying to you is, what did I say? You said, you said that I made a physical threat. threat. I made a threat, but it wasn't physical. What was the threat then? I said, I, was, I said, you, you make me feel like I'm in a lash that, that, that could be verbal, it could be physical, Legally, it could be anything. All right, bro, listen. We went in court. Like, no, but listen, 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 listen. If, if I went in court, if I said lash out, I could, I couldn't mean verbally. Has he not lashed out verbally against yeah, me on videos? Has he not lashed out through writing on videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Okay, so why okay, physical okay. when it comes to yeah, the Arab? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, one minute. When it comes to the Arab with the beard, it's one minute. One minute. Let me just say to you. Let me just say to you. And then he puts out videos and he says I'm a coward. Hold on, you need to say what you want to calm down a second. Yeah. Let me tell you also what you did. Yeah, just so we're very clear, because you're saying the man's a coward. You then went and you made a video. Yeah, you made a video and you also gave him three options. You understand? This is what you did. I'm asking you, I'm asking you, if if and when you do that, bearing in mind how it started, I'm saying, do you then as a Muslim follow do you as a Muslim say then with that behavior that you're following you're following the Surah al Mustaqim? The last for Ta'ala? I'm just asking you. Yeah? What I will say Prophet, I'm gonna ask you. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he had intestines of animals thrown on him, he was spat on, he had stones thrown on him from the children uh, by instruction of their parents, and he never retaliated the way I retaliated on something petty. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only give us the patience and the insight into being closer to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I am very religious a man, and I have not been given revelation from Allah. My heart was not cleansed when I was a child from Malaika, from the instruction of Allah, and I am not on the same level as Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even from brain. What I will say, bro, is that as I said in the beginning, 
I am very, very clear to say that for me to have lashed out like that, I'm sure Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wouldn't have done. Yeah? But sir, so, you made a video. I'm just just you. Yeah, but you made a video. Oh, I video did, I did. But do you know what you, you know keep doing? Do you know why I did that video? No, 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 it's not, you know. I this is you know, bro, this you know, bro, you're making excuses. Can I say something? This whole thing started between us and Saul. Look at the game. No, we, we where is he? This, where is he? Men are fighting. Men are fighting. It's not Sarah. It's not Sarah. It's it's not Sarah. Right. Do you know why? It's a free speech yes, issue. Yes, I because I I've seen people. Yes. I've seen people try, yes. try to intimidate, okay. to intimidate Ty and disrespect Ty. No, but hear me a second. Hear me. They try to. They try to. They try to intimidate and threaten physically Ty. Now say what you like. No, from what I have. Yeah, but say what you like about Ty. Ty has a very unique way of speaking. Is it my way? What I'm just saying to you. I know you can say Ty is rude, and, and you have a right. No, 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 but hold a second. I am, I am leveling. No, 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 no. He, he has a different way. To be or not to be, he has Let me tell you. Can I just say to you? Can I just say to you? For me, Ty's one of the brightest guys in the park. Now, you might not see it. You might not see it, and you have a right not to see it. I'm telling you what I see. I think that time is three or four levels yeah, ahead of what anybody is in the park. I could only wish to have the knowledge that that guy has. Some people may say, well, we don't like the way in which he speaks. And I get that, because it's like Marmite. Either you like it, or either you don't. But what is it about Ty? We have never seen Ty threaten anybody. We've never seen him, just give me 10 seconds please, um, Ty. We've never seen him physically threaten anybody. We've never seen him intimidate anybody. So why then was somebody like Ty threatened? I know you think this is about Sarah, but it's not. It's about free speech. Because when, when somebody like Ty has to say to me, look, if you attack me, yeah, then my sons will come down here and it will carry on. We all we all know that's not how Ty speaks. So what is it that put Ty in that position that Ty had to say that? So it's not just about Sarah. It's anybody. No, no, no. I'm just speaking generally. I'm, so, I'm speaking. No, 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 Ty. I'm speaking generally that it's not about Sarah. It's about the issue of free speech within the confines of Speaker's Corner. I think we all agree that we're not going to agree on the issue of free speech. That's, that's clear. At least I hope that we are in agreement that if there was any previous grievance between us, hopefully, or everything, at least from our side. There was none from me. Okay, that's fair enough. There was none from me. At least that we know where we all stand. That we, we, I hope that we continue to peace from our own. From our own, if I hear something, I put on camera as well. If I hear anything from you or Sora, which I deem to be slanderous or which I deem to be insult, I will walk away. I will not listen to Sora. In fact, I will make it clear now. I will keep on this from Sora because I believe he will not change. I believe he won't change. And I don't believe that we should ask you guys to get him to change because he won't change anyway. Fair enough. So let's just yeah, end it there. He said that off of all of the offence. Let, let, let us just 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 let us let us just end on that note that we agree to disagree and if there was any previous grievances we squash that and we made peace although maybe it wasn't there was nothing to make peace in the first place but I believe that I apologize for my for my wrongdoings, I did this before or anyone that took offense to what I said. That hopefully maybe this can be a catalyst for any future agreement between us and Sora, maybe he can if he watches this, that he knows that the best way to say what you want is not by insulting, it's by you saying it. I hope if he watches this, he learns this. Because you might have the right to say something, but sometimes it's better that you at least adjust the way you say things for the greater good. The same way Big Bro does it, the same way you do it, the same other brothers do it. That we know that we have a right to say something, however, for the greater cause, not to cause offence for human beings, we adjust the slightly. 
and we can still say what we want. It's a critique. You know, but we adjust it. You know, in this is to this wisdom. Now, Wisdom. 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 Wisdom.
And one of the reasons why, no, 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 hear me, hear me. No, 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 no. hear me a second and then you'll understand what I'm saying. That hear was, me, that was a hear me. No, 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 hear me, hear me, hear me. And I'm going to tell you, you what, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. What I mean by that is that there is nothing wrong with having that vigor and that zeal for what you believe in. Nothing wrong. Everybody would want someone to have that vigor and to have that zeal. But whatever you say is going to be lost in the fog because of your up and down, of your up and down character. Now, one of the reasons why, because the, even when you watch the video, like you were this one minute, then you were this one minute, then you were this one minute, then you were this. And let me just say to you, one of the reasons, one of the reasons, no, I'm just smiling. One of the, let me just tell you this one second. One of the reasons why I'm not going to condemn you, yeah, promptly, is the same reason why I said I wouldn't condemn Muhammad Hijab. And do you know the reason why that is? is because you're young. You understand? And when you're young, you sometimes have that vigor. I'm not trying to be funny. You sometimes have that vigor and that fight. Let me just say, if I was going somewhere, and I, was, I know I was going to have an argument, and I could bring a dozen men with me who's 40, or a dozen men with me who's your age, I'd bring a dozen men with me who's 40. You know the reason why? Second reason. And That's why. exactly right. But with your age, with your age, because I was there. But no, no, you understand what I mean? In terms of that, in terms of that ignorance, nobody here wants to paint themselves as paragons of virtue. Do you understand? Because I certainly am not, by no stretch of the imagination, am I a paragon of virtue. However, I'm telling you this in terms of words of advice. You can give the most brilliant dharma to date in the park. Somebody then watches the upside down nature of, of the video and they say to themselves, do you know what? There's something which is not quite right. I actually think that Hamid yeah, got it right. You understand? And he has now moved over to the winning side. And I'll tell you what I mean by that without being divisive. You know when somebody says that when I see Sarah from now on, I'm now going to go over there. If he's over there, I'm going to completely ignore him. There are some people in life, Mohammed, who rely on the oxygen, yeah, who rely on the oxygen of publicity to exist. You understand? And there is no existence without it. I'm saying that if Sarah is over there, he has a right to say what he says. But if you are nowhere near him, if people who believe that you believe are nowhere near him, who then is he going to be speaking to? I'm just asking you. So you might think this is an attack, but if you're clever, when you go and watch the video, you'll realize that this is not an attack at all. Yeah? This is a next brother. Yeah? This is a, this is a next brother. Anyway, anyway, this, is, this, this is a next brother because let me tell you this. We all know, we all know, apart from the liars and the hypocrites who will say, you have been jailed, you know, boy. and if anything goes go jail and blah blah blah. These guys, these guys, there's something seriously wrong with them. You understand? Because prison, prison, despite what they tell you, is not a good place. It's not a decent place. It's a soul-destroying place. Why then would you want to put yourself in a position to go somewhere like that? You understand? It's nonsense. It's crazy. That's all I wanted to say. Now, if I look a certain way, the one who I am actually worried about the way he sees me, first and foremost, is Allah the Exalted. The Muslim. The judge. Now, you know what you were saying, bro, about the way I'm going up and down and the fact that yes. I'm being very over emotional. over emotional, for example, and maybe aggravational, no. provocative at the moment. Please note again, and I'll say it again, please. Please note that, as I said, there was a time where Sarah was provoking and provoking, and I stayed quiet, I stayed silent, and he continued. So this, what you see of me now, is a result of many months. This thing between you and me is only a, it's like, it's a moment. It's a, it's a moment. This thing with me and Sarah is like a year, and he's actually weaned off this YouTube glamour. He's weaned off it to try and make an image with me. People. 
<laughs> know me mo uh, know me just as much as they know that I give da'wah. They know me because of the sorrow situation which I detest. I don't like it. And I've spoken to Sarah a number of times up, away from camera and I said, Sarah, please let me speak to you off camera. I oh, know you do you, I do me. Oh, if I do me and you do you, why are you then going back online and saying I'm a coward, saying I'm this, saying I'm that? Like, chill out, man. It's because he wanted something before. Allah, I'm telling you. All right, I'm not perfect. I know I'm not perfect. I, know, I don't care saying it to you. No, 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 Thank you. But one, and I will take your advice. As an elder, I'll, I respect that and I take your advice. Because very least, we know even from Adib that Iblis himself spoke the word of Hab to recite ayat of Kursi from night until morning at one point and there are variations of this hadith and the, the, the symbolism behind it is to take truth wherever it comes from it doesn't matter if it comes from a true a black skin brother or an Asian brother or a Muslim or a or a or anything it doesn't matter if truth comes you should accept it if truth comes you bro I swear to God Allah knows best I am not here for YouTube fame I am here to tell you people the truth I started this when I had a healthy condition Sarah came and approached me and he said I will rip your heart out. He may have been, he may have been a, a response. Uh, what did you say? Yeah, it's, a, it's a response of what I said and I never brought up um, threat, musical. Like, you never ever did that. sounded like a threat though. No, maybe it's because I've got the uh, strength of an idea. Maybe it was a better yeah. yeah. thing. Another thing as well. It sounded like a threat though. Another thing as well, yeah. Callum, Callum himself. When Sarah was over there and Sarah said, Oh, you called me a bastard. Mind my language, you called me a bastard. And I turned to Callum. I said, Callum, did you tell him I called him a bastard? In the video, I said, Did I call him a bastard? And Callum stayed quiet. He said, No, so I never said it. I said things that I've, I've said on camera today. I said, You're homosexual. Bring the homo to me or the gay to me with Ryan to me. Which is fine. All right, I said it. I'm saying that. Listen, listen, listen. listen. All right, cool. Let me, right, let me, let me, let me finish off. 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 You're the peaceful one now. You're the peaceful one now. I've got nothing, I've got nothing personally, Allah, I've got nothing personally against Sarah. It's the actions of a man that I detest. Oh. Just like you haven't got anything personal against me, it's my actions you detest, right? Yeah. Because you don't know me well enough to know what to do. No. Thank you. Just Likewise. I've got nothing against Sarah. It's the actions that I detest. Yeah, but when you, can, can I just say the last thing here before we finish? When you're going to say somebody's a bad man, yeah, when you're going to say somebody's a bad man and somebody's a homosexual, you know, do you know what I said when, when, when they said online? And I was actually being very sincere. I said that your language should be very careful, yeah, because Sarah was an actor 15, 16 years ago. Yeah, there are men in the park, yeah, who are batty men, yeah, who have had numerous men that they've slept with, and you lot defend them when they're down here giving dawah. So I've never understood, I've never understood that you can point your hands at Sarah, who is not a batty man, but you actually have batty man them down here. And don't get me wrong, I'm not attacking any of them down here. I have no right, you understand, to judge another man, you understand. I'm only mentioning it in relation to how you're, you're seeking to judge Sarah. Sarah is a married heterosexual man looking after his wife and his two children. You understand? He is not a homosexual, but they 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 have they everybody he's not bisexual, you understand? He's a heterosexual you know, man. Right. I, disagree. I, I disagree you with the You should apologize for saying I disagree that. to say what? You should apologize for calling Sarah a party man. That's what you should do. You, let me tell you the reason why. Let me tell you. And you know the thing is, this does not take away from you, you know. Yeah, it doesn't take away from you. Just like me, I came down to the park. No, and it doesn't I, take away from no, you. No, 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 it doesn't take away from you. It's like apologizing. What did you bring him down? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's all of it in person. Yeah. 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 Away from you the park. Here. You and you can strip search, not strip search, but you can search search. What I'm just saying to you, the point I wanted to make was a serious point. Why would you not talk to us in person? Why, why, why not? If you're a mediator, listen, the point, before, I'll, I'll tell you why. Before, 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 you can be a mediator, okay? You know the thing is, You can be the arbitrator if you want. You can be the arbitrator. I do not have any social media accounts, and if you remember, I said that I don't like, I don't actually like the whole filming shit, yeah? Leon and them will tell you, they are refused, they ask me, they are 23, oh, everybody, everybody has asked me. I've got two speaking engagements out of, out of Hyde Park. Yeah, yeah. One in Seattle, one in New York. You understand? I will speak there. I saw you the Grinstar. Yeah, I was at the Grinstar. Yeah. The, the 
point that I'm making is that is that most people misunderstand people like myself. People like myself have seen what it's been for people who look like me, yeah, my skin colour, our experience in this country. That anger that you see doesn't come from out of the clear blue sky. Yeah, this comes this comes from years and years of constant structural oppression of black people in this country. And I said to you that when you we started this conversation, Hamid, I said to you that the racism that I saw in Islam yeah, has left an indelible mark on me and it's left a scar. I mean by Muslims they use my body. I have left my Muslims, you understand, the only people who, who represent Islam are Muslims. You understand? So you can't separate Islam from the actions of Muslims. I mean, I mean, from, no, 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 I'll take that back. From a scholarly point of view, yeah, from a scholarly point of view, you can't. Yeah, you can. Yeah, but my point is, is that when we speak, when we speak, when we speak about racism, you understand, and that complete subjugation to the ideas, the cultures, and the ideals of others, that's one thing. But when you are in there, and then you find that the actions, the actions of some of these Muslims are the same as the people who are outside in this world, you understand, you say, to hell with them. Why do they come to me or something? Explain this what the problem was. We can deal with it. Sir, because, you because, can, if because if your you, actions, your actions were not conducive. Okay, it was, uh, you're right. was not you're, conducive. You're right. I didn't come to you. Can you sir, can you from I now didn't come on, to you right, with right, any right. anger? I know, I know. But can okay. you from now on? Can you from now on? Can you stop in the beginning now? If, if, if me and you cross paths again, if you have this issue of racial thing, can you tell us what there was so we can deal with it? Oh, yeah. That's the sure. huh? you, you, know, you, know, you know what you were saying, buddy? Don't do that. You know what you were saying about all of the experiences that you've had in this yes. society? Like, we ain't felt your pain, bro. You know the same way? You know as an, that, an individual. You know the same way, look, if he gives me a smack in my face, he doesn't feel the pain you feel, that I feel. Absolutely. So, bro, we haven't felt the pain that you felt. No. So, you know when you paint us with the same because of the emotion that you feel. No, it's not because of my experiences. Of course. Don't you get it? I'm, you get it. Yeah. I'm only telling you what the experience is. Yeah? And my experience is this, that when I was in the mosque, there were many things which I saw yeah, and I kept quiet. And I kept quiet because it was for the it was for the greater God. It was for the love of Allah SWT. And I keep quiet. And, and they, and they, they, you knew that I was Muslim before. I didn't know. Yeah, you knew that I was Muslim. Before. Yeah, well, well everybody does. You understand? There must be there are Sunni brothers here. You understand that I used, I used to go to the mosque. You understand? So I'm this, and this, and this, I'm not talking and this is, neither this is, this is I didn't know you were Muslim. Sir, this is thirty this is thirty years. Yeah, thirty years deep. You understand? So I became Muslim in 1981 as a child. You understand? And I am telling you that my experience, that my experience of being amongst a great segment, a great segment of Muslims as a black-skinned man, you understand, is that they are racist. Yeah, they are disrespectful. Now, be very clear. You know, I didn't say that Islam was racist. I said that they are Muslims. We agree with that. They are Muslims that are racist. Did not want my company in the mosque. There was a great deal of disrespect. Respect. There's a great deal of disrespect that I saw, and I'm saying that listen, as a real man, I choose where to put myself. I choose where to put myself as a grown human being. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm saying that I choose as a grown man where to put myself. And I'm saying that even coming here, there is nothing that I've seen. Yeah, since I've started coming back here last October, there is nothing that I've seen. Yeah. Amongst the actions of some of the Muslims here, yeah, to say yeah. that I made the wrong choice. So you have the status on you, yeah. when you see well, someone. No, no, you say that, that I, we came across in the wrong way. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm saying this. I'm, I'm saying this. I'm, I'm saying this. Is that? Is that I, mean, I couldn't know that. There is a culture. I don't, I don't know your background. No, as, as like, a like, now, like, like, not, 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 as a black man, makes more sense when you as a black yeah. man, there is a cultural appropriation yeah. that takes place. Yeah. Generally speaking, 
when West Indian black men become Muslims, yeah. do you understand? Yeah. Now, be very clear that it's very difficult. Yes, sure. very, you, you will find, if you look around, there are very few St. Lucian black Muslims. There are very few Barbadian Muslims or St. Vincent or Grenadian. And do you know the reason why that is? If you've never heard before, do you want to tell me why that is? Because their families have not been completely destroyed. When you look, for example, at the Jamaican, yeah, the Jamaican, for example, and you find that over 70% of our homes are single parent black women, you will find that the men who are in those homes have a longing yeah, to join on to something that has some kind of meaning in life. Imagine then the amount of us then that have converted to so-called Al-Islam and you convert to Al-Islam, you then go into the mosque and the same shit that you saw outside in the world, you go into the mosque and you see that, you understand? And there is a barely concealed contempt there's a barely right. concealed yeah, contact. That's, yeah, that's yeah. the reason that's why. Really why. Like, you say that's sad, right. but that's a fact. Right. You, you, know, you know what I think, bro? Like, you know what I think? You know, big bro, what I think, bro? I think someone has been pulling that rope. Someone has been pulling that rope with you for so long. Now you've let go of that rope, but you're still holding some rope, bro. Listen, wallahi, I'll speak for myself here. And he can speak for himself. And the Muslims here can all speak for themselves. Wallahi, I have nothing against black people. I actually come from, sorry. It's okay, it's okay, I don't need it. You sure? I actually come from a highly populated, Topic, dense right. black area. I grew up with, I grew up with actually saltfish. I grew up with curry goat, jerk chicken around me and, the, and those people and their mums that used to cook it for me. I love it. I grew up with black people. I have a lot of friends who are black. I have friends who are black that come up to me and they say, are you caught up in all of this racial thing in the park that they think that you're one of these races? And, and, Do you understand? It's mad, bro. I'm not against black people. I would not have been a Muslim if it wasn't for that many people. You said that, but let me just say to you, and, and, and I accept, really sorry, I accept yeah. all of that. I don't understand what you're saying, yeah. because yeah. Like, black black all my friends have been up for black people, people, right? So you wouldn't understand. Because I'm not saying I understand your situation.